If you like reading pesticide labels like I do, you may have noticed a few changes, specifically regarding language for the Endangered Species Act, or ESA. This language is meant to protect species, habitats of those species, but also our family farms. Let me walk you through a few of these changes. If you're preparing to make an application, of course you're checking your label, and if you see ESA requirements, what do you do? The first thing you want to do is focus on potential mitigations for runoff and spray drift to ensure the product remains on target. On target applications are critical to be compliant, but they're also very important to improve pest control, reduce resistance management concerns, to save you money, and very importantly, extend the life of our tools. There are two things we want to focus on, label requirements and Bulletins Live 2. First is the label requirements. They provide you the baseline for application procedures regarding runoff and spray drift. Second is BLT, or Bulletins Live 2, that provides you location-specific details. Now remember, for BLT, you have to check within six months of applying your product. It's the label and it's BLT that provides you the specific information to ensure you're applying your product on target. The US EPA is now implementing a point system in regards to runoff. It's kind of like a scorecard ranging from zero to nine. Fortunately, many of you are already implementing mitigation practices that are effective and achieve points. For example, conservation tillage is one of those options. For those of you that do not have enough points, we're gonna share practices that can help you achieve the level of mitigation you need to ensure your product stays on target. The EPA's pesticide app for label mitigations, or POM, is designed to provide us with a calculator to help us address runoff and spray drift. It also provides definitions of mitigation options that is very important for us to understand and also allows us to document our results. Here's how it works. You start by reviewing the product label and BLT to identify and enter the number of points required to reduce runoff or the minimum buffers required for spray drift. Then the tool organizes your mitigations into categories like field characteristics, in-field or adjacent field practices, your application procedures, etc. Point or percent reduction values for each practice have been determined by the US EPA, so you can know exactly how credit is assigned. Your operation may already be using practices that qualify for points. The tool shows your points or buffer status in real time, so you know exactly where you stand. When you have met the requirements, the tool allows you to print a summary to save along with your optional voluntary documentation. Essentially, this tool provides you a clear menu of options to assist in meeting ESA requirements. It helps you see where your operation already qualifies, where you may need to add a practice, and leaves you with documentation at the end. Really helpful. So where do you go when you see the ESA language? First, start with your label. Find your runoff point requirement and your minimum spray drift buffers, as well as any additional ESA requirements. Next, let's go to BLT. Let's confirm our location and also confirm if there are any date-specific restrictions before we spray. Finally, use the Palm tool as your calculator, making sure your practices add to the right number of mitigation points and minimum buffer requirements. The label, BLT, and Palm provide you everything you need to bridge label requirements and real world practices. At the end of the day, these tools aren't just about following the label. They're about ensuring agriculture continues to be both productive and protective of the environment we all depend on. So we all remain outstanding in our field.